Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson and I'm joined by Scott G and Renata Sledge of the Cancer Support Community of Greater St. Louis. And I kept saying in the last segment, upcoming event, upcoming event, now we can finally talk about it. And it's Laughing Matters. And I love this concept and idea. So Scott, why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, we've got a crazy event coming up uh, November 12th. Um, it started, we were talking a little bit in the first segment about our programming. And one of the things that we added this year was um, our friends at the improv shop came, wanted to come in and do some improv comedy with our members because laughing is a part of the natural healing process. So that kind of spurred an idea to take um, a new signature event that is a return in name to our signature event when the organization first started. But what we've done is we've gotten six teams together, seven community leaders who are raising money through $10 per vote, um, trying to garner a People's Choice Award and the whole event will be competitive improvisational comedy. <laughs> so you've got people, like you said, leaders in the community who don't have an improv back. We hope they're no, no. funny. We <laughs> hope they know how to act. And you're pairing them with professionals, right? Professionals from the improv shop, yeah. So the good thing is they, don't, they need to be comfortable in front of a, a crowd and an audience. They need to have a good network of friends and trying to garner support. Most of our support comes from the community, so trying to raise money for the work that we do. And then that night, they'll be the main part of the show. Mm -hmm. be each, each contestant will have a two or three minute, five minute segment, a scene, if you will. Um, and then we'll also have a, about a 20 or 30 minute um, performance by the improv shop also. Oh, so, okay, great. Yeah. Now I know this is gonna sound sort of against sort of the antithesis of improv itself, but I mean, would the pairs have already rehearsed something or have they like sort of gone through improv like training or workshops? Yeah, actually the, they will be provided up to six different training um, sessions okay. leading up to the night. So yeah, they already started. We did a photo shoot a few weeks ago. Yeah, out I think at, we've uh, got the, we can throw it that Yeah, that's one of the photos from that, night, from that afternoon. Um, the event will be at St. Louis Motor Cars. So we did a photo shoot and kind of a first training kickoff, get the group together so they could um, know each other, start building some camaraderie. And this is, um, this is the group. These are our community leaders, right? Yes, right. And then, exactly. And so they're each paired then with a professional. With two, at least two, two. yeah, professionals from the improv shop for that night. No, I, I mean, I think the concept is great. I mean, have, have any of the have any of the participants said secretly that they're just worried that they're not going to get and generate any laughs, or is it at this point everyone's ready because it's for such a good cause? Obviously, are yeah, they just I think, in it? I think they're less worried about whether they get laughs as they are trying to get votes for the People's Choice Award. So oh, we'll have three categories. One will have um, who gets the most votes again at at ten dollars per vote, um, and then we'll have the overall fundraising champion that includes ticket sales sponsorship packages etc and then there'll be a judge's choice so they will be you know that that is the mm -hmm. actual performance but they're, they're less worried about the actual performance than they are trying to get people to vote for them when we were talking off camera you brought up a past celebrity name Gilda Radner and I was wondering if you could make the connection because I think that sort of speaks to where the laughter comes in and the comedy but also having obviously to deal with cancer. And when we were first started out in California, we were uh, called the wellness community. And Gilda Radner actually attended the wellness community in California after she was diagnosed with cancer um, and participated in Joke Fest. So that's where our beginnings in laughter happened. After her passing, her and, and her very recent late husband, Gene Wilder, started Gilda's Clubs. And then about seven years ago, Gilda's Clubs and the wellness community joined forces to become cancer support community. So laughter has been part of our history, it's been part of our beginning, and we're thrilled to kind of bring it back as yeah. a, an opportunity to get the community together to support the work that we do. Yeah, what a great event. I love it. I love the concept. We've got the information there for you on the screen. It's Laughing Matters. It's a wonderful, wonderful fundraiser for Cancer Support Community of Greater St. Louis. It's taking place November 12th out at St. Louis Motor Cars in Chesterfield. For more information, tickets, all of that, go to cancersupportstl.org. Is that correct? Correct. correct? Is there anything else that people can find on the website? And uh, you can go on right now and find the, the contestants and their reasons why you should vote for them, and you can vote right now. Start voting now. Exactly. Yeah, I've got the time. No, I love it, and good luck with the event. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, there's more STL Live right after this. Please stay with us.